So what I'll do is I'll take the hand. We'll start on D1. I'm using the right arm. And so it moves from an ipsilateral position when you do D1. And so I will start in internal rotation of the shoulder. The shoulder is obviously extended. Can you come a little bit my other way? Just a little bit. Okay. So I move from here. And then I'm going to take across the body. Externally rotate. A little bit of shoulder flexion. A little bit of elbow flexion. Radial deviation. D1. Flexion. D1. Extension. D1. Flexion. D1. Extension. D1. Flexion. D1. Extension. Now moving to the contralateral side of the body to begin D2. Okay. Externally rotate. Internally rotate. Externally rotate for flexion. Internally rotate. Extension. D2. Flexion. Extension. Extension. Um, is that all we do, like the passive, or do we Correct. do, so, okay, so no concentric, eccentric for the, with the D1, D2. I mean, I didn't see it, but I wasn't it. Five reps, verbally stated, plain, which is D1, D2. Okay. And then the osteokinematics, are you doing D1 flexion, D1 extension? Okay. Y'all want to see the lower? Yeah, I might as well. If you don't mind, Kendall. Okay. <laughs> so, hip extension D1, beginning on the ipsilateral side. Externally rotates. D1. Extension. D1. Flexion. Extension. Flexion. Beginning on the contralateral side for D2. Internally rotated. Extension. Flexion. Extension. Flexion. Extension. Flexion. 